Hello everyone. When working in Excel or making custom worksheets for business analysis, we often need to create a custom formula of our own. So, this is Jihad Jian Jim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several methods on how to create a custom formula in Excel. Before going into the methods, let's talk about the dataset a bit. Here, in this dataset, we have information about the name of the items and their stock and unit prices in column B, C, and D. Our target is to create a custom formula to get total price in the column E. So, without any further discussion, let's get started. In our first example, we want to create a custom formula for the total price by using the VBA code. At first, we'll go to the Developer tab and select the Visual Basic to open the Visual Basic Editor. Click on the Insert option and select Module to create a new module here. As we have already our code in the Notepad, so we'll copy it down by using Ctrl plus C and paste it here in the Visual Basic Editor by Ctrl plus V. So let's talk about the code a bit here. The first line, Public Function Total Price defines the function name total price and it specifies two input parameters number one and number two. The word public indicates that the function can be accessed from the anywhere within the VBA project or workbook. In the next line we have total price number into number two. This portion multiplies the values of number one and number two and assigns the result to the function's name total price. This means that the function is called two inputs and return the value of the product of them and now we have ended the product by using end function now we'll save the code by using the save option or control plus s in the keyboard now if we return to the workbook then we'll go to the e5 cell and insert the total price so we have our total price here and now we'll select our two numbers which is at first c5 and then insert comma and select D5. If we press the enter button, then we get our perfect result for the very first cell. Now drag down the formula to get the result for every cell. So that's how we can easily create a custom formula using VB code to get total price in Excel. In our second example, we'll again use VB code to calculate retail price applying custom formula. To do that, we'll go to Developer tab and select Visual Basic to open Visual Basic Editor. Click on Insert and select Module to open the Visual Basic Editor. As we have written our code in the Notepad already, so we'll copy it by using Ctrl plus C and paste it in the Visual Basic Editor by Ctrl plus V. So let's talk about the code a bit. In the code, at first we have the public function. The public function retail price defines the function retail price and specifies its three parameters which is number one, number two and number three. The word public indicates that the function can be accessed from anywhere within the VBA code. After that, we have the retail price equal to number one plus number two divided by number three. This portion calculates the total price by adding the cost of product of number one and number two and then divide the result by the markup percentage number three expressed as output section this equation assumes that the markup percentage is given as decimal from the values after that the calculation of retail price is assigned to the function's name as retail price this means when the function is called three inputs then it will return the retail price only as output at last, we have our last line as end function to get the final result. So, we'll save the code here by using the save function or Ctrl plus S in the keyboard. Now, we'll return to the workbook and insert the formula in the F5 cell. So, write down the retail price. Retail price, we have the formula here. And now, we'll select the values here. We'll select C5 as number 1. Then, we have d5 as our second number and now we have the divisor as e5 now we'll click the enter button to get our perfect retail price in the f5 cell now drag down the formula to get the result for every cell so that's how we can easily create a custom formula for getting the retail price in excel 
Now we want to create custom formula without using the VBA code. At first, we'll go to the developer tab and select the add-ins here. Office add-ins dialog box will appear on the screen. Go to the store tab and find the Excel labs in the find section. Now, after that, if you click on the search option, you'll get your Excel labs in Microsoft Garage project. If you click on the add option, then you'll get your first result and click continue. At right side, Excel labs window will appear on the screen. You can easily select the names option here. And as we are trying to get a new function, so we'll go to the functions and click on the add name section. Now in this add name section, you will got the first parameter function name. You can easily select the parameter as you wish. In this case, we'll select the name as email generator. In the argument section, we'll insert our first argument text one, press enter. Again, second argument text two, press enter. Now we have two arguments here. We have function definition in this section. As we are trying to get a custom formula where we want to get the result like the concate function. So write down the concate function here and we'll select and in the dialog box section, we'll write down text one. And in this second case, we'll write down the text two. And after that, we will have our email section. So write down at xyz.com. So if we press the done option here, now we'll get our perfect result and save it by using the save function on control plus S in the keyboard. Now let's return to the worksheet and in the D5 cell insert our custom formula, which is in this case email generator. Now in the email generator, we have two parameters text one and text two. So select B5 as text one and we have C5 as text two. If you click the enter button, then we'll get our perfect email in the D5 cell. Now drag down the formula to use it to every cell. So that's how you can easily create custom formula without using VBA code. So that's it for today. You can use any of these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at excelemy.com. Thanks for watching us. Please consider subscribing for more content like this.